Good day. If you're listening to this, you must be in Mrs. Rodriguez's second hour. Um, in your packet, you're going to find a um, reading that's ca called Thinking Big in Old China. This is second hour, like I said, and this is your history for today. All right. Did people think big in ancient China? You bet they did. Long ago, people all over the world built walls to protect themselves from attackers. For example, they built walls around castles and forts. In China, people built enormous walls to keep out invaders. The invaders they feared most lived in the north. So they built the Great Wall on their northern border. The Great Wall wasn't built all at once. It took over 200 years. By the time it was finished, it stretched about 1,500 miles. No structure on Earth is even longer than that. Today, astronauts can look down at Earth and pick out a thin line stretching across Asia. It's the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall was made of Earth and stone. Its walls were from 15 to 30 feet thick at the bottom. On top, the walls were about 12 feet thick. On average, the walls were 25 feet high. The wall ran in a straight line across land. In hilly areas, it twisted through valleys like an enormous snake, and the Great Wall was built on the spines of tall mountains. It plunged down into the rivers and then continued on the opposite shore. Long ago, nearly one million soldiers patrolled the Great Wall. They watched for warriors on horseback riding from the north. All along the Great Wall, there were many forts and towers. When a soldier saw enemy warriors in the distance, he would light a smoky fire on top of a tower. When guards at the next tower saw the smoke, they built their own fire, passing the signal along, so much like smoke signals. Sometimes soldiers were also used common cannon shots to alert the rest of the guards along the wall. The number of cannon shots was a code. It told how many enemy warriors were approaching. As time passed, the Great Wall began to crumble. Now most of the wall has disappeared. However, from time to time, people find new sections of the wall to study. Tourists from all over the world come to see the Great Wall and marvel at the amount of work it must have taken to build such a long and amazing structure. So that is the reading. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and answer the section for your understanding, the section for your vocabulary, and also your word work. You don't need to worry about where it says right now. So that last bit where you have the circles and it looks like a web and they're all connected, you do not need to worry about that one. I want just the other part done. Have fun with this. Look up the Great Wall of China. It's kind of a cool structure. Um, if you have any questions, just let somebody know and we'll work through them. All right. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Miss you guys.